everybody, it's the DRock100, and welcome back to more Pokemon Diamond in the last episode. We arrived here to Jubilee Town, and we did a few things. In this episode, we're going to be progressing onward to Route 203 by the looks of it. But before we do so, I also showed off in the last episode that I have gotten myself the old ride. And there was actually one Pokemon that I actually forgot to mention. And now that we've gotten the old Ron, we can now find Magikarp out in the wild. Magikarp is able to be one of the worst Pokemon in terms of stat-wise. It is really pathetic until level 15 when it knows Tackle. And I believe at level 18 or something like that when it learns to move Flail. But if you can get it up to level 20, it becomes one of the best Pokemon ever, Gyarados. And I like this Pokemon a lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't really recommend it that much since I've already have a water type already on my team. So I think for now, let's just move on. So anyway, right up here, around 204 right here. Um, if you, I don't think I've also showed this, but God dang it. If you guys can tell, I got a star there right here off screen. And it is around level 9 at the very moment with keen eye for the ability. On wing attack off screen. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna use Starlet on my official team since I've already used it in my Platinum LP. I'm gonna go for a different Pokemon, which I'm gonna be getting a little bit later on. Um, anyway, uh, from up there on that route, round 204, there are actually two new Pokemon here that we can find out there. One of them is, excuse me, Badoo. Uh, Badoo is a very interesting grass poison type. It is the pretty evolution from a Gen 3 Pokemon, Roselia. Um, to evolve it, you do have it to raise its happiness, I believe, during the day. Which is a pain in the butt to do, and I really don't have the time to do it so. Um, if you can get a Shiny Stone, which won't appear until much later on, you get one of the best Pokemon in the game, Rose Ray. One of the greatest Grass Poison types ever. And the other Pokemon that you can find only in the nighttime is Zubat. Zubat is actually, despite not how common you can find them, they're actually really good. I actually would recommend them quite that quite a lot, actually. Um getting into his final evolution, Crobat, does take some time. A lot of harsh love, I take it. So if you want to have a really fast poison type, Zubat can be your guy. The only downside is, it's very frail, it's it's just not really that good of a Pokemon until much later on when it bought the Crobat. So that's it for those who tune Pokemon right there. Um, I'm kind of showing off this uh, one little battle out here in the, um, in the trainer school, and just to show off, just to get a little bit more experience points before I head off. Because I'm actually going to be in for one long ride towards Orberg City. And you know what? That's not going to happen to me that much, so I'm just going to pound it. Apparently, pounding it works! <laughs> that sounds horrible. Don't do that. And Emperor's at level 11! Very good! And ooh, I learned Water Sport! This is good! This is good! Alright, um... Now, if I recall correctly... Um, Water Sport is actually a pretty nice move. I think it lowers uh, the Pokemon's fire base attacks. Oh, god dang it. Yep, it weakens the fire attack moves while the user is in the battle. Not a bad move, but I kind of find that to be kind of a pointless move, really, because... What's the point? Okay. So anyway, coming out here, we have our very first rival battle. Hey, Darren, tell me you got a little stronger. Me? Do I even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. All right, this starts off with a battle against Barry. Or it's what I would just say, Barry. <laughs> All right, his first Pokemon is going to be a Starly, level 7, normal flying type, keen eye for the ability, with tackle, ground, and quick attack. Um, keen eye. Um... It is an ability that prevents any loss in accuracy, so it's actually a 
actually a pretty good ability if you ask me, in case, especially when you're going up against any kind of trainers like that is known for hindering uh, your abilities to attack. Mostly in terms of accuracy, that is. Alright. Okay, can you stop, please? They're really doing nothing. Pokemon HP is low. This could be a bit tight. Tight might. Let me just judge him because I got a star that's already in the tanks. So what do you got? Oh, one that's barely in the ones? Oh wait, you do. There we go. Come to death. Okay. And now with that weird weird battle out of the way. Our uh, next up is Turtwig, level 9, pure grass type level with overgrowth of the ability. Tackle with drone and absorb. If you start off with a Turtwig, you would have a Chimchar, level 9, pure fire type, place for the ability. With Scratch in there, Ember, and Taunt. Or if you started off with a Chimchar, you would have a Pit Blob, level 9, water type, torn for the ability, pound, growl, and bubble. Um, personally, I think his Chimchar would probably be a little bit more intimidating. Especially by how much of a double-edged sword Chimchar is. Okay. I will admit, this building was giving off a little bit more of a challenge than it, he did in my Platinum LP. And didn't you just say that when your Starly was low on HP? I think someone was a little crazy. Okay. Nice uh, trainer battle debut, Starly. Maybe I'll keep you around for a while. Well, I'm gonna have to, because I need a good flying type Pokemon for what's coming up later on. Okay. Wow, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Orberg and City Pokemon Gym. They're tough enough for that, totally. Freak. Okay, um... Um, who are you? Did you know? The first Pokemon to appear in a battle is the one at the top left of your Pokemon team. What the crap? It's not my first rodeo. Okay, so, come out here. On Route 203, there is literally one new Pokemon that we can find out here, and that is Abra. Abra! You can get into his final evolution, Alakazam. You get one of the best Pokemon ever. It is a very fast special attacker. Downside is, it is very, very frail in terms of physical defense-wise, so it is very wise to make sure that you do not go up against any trainer that uses physical power Pokemon. I think. Half the time. So that's it for the new Pokemon right here. Youngster Dallas has a Krigaton. What level is it? Ooh, we got one at level 7. Oh, so this one is actually a required battle. Um... I want to see if I can try to skip the ones that are not required. I can't promise you anything. Okay? Okay. Growl. Growl. Wow. I am literally using a move that uses special. That growl can do jack doodling. I was just checking something that's off the recording section. I should also mention that I also have a second uh, monitor right here. I now have dual screen right here, and I use that as my new... What is it called again? Top screen, thank you. Alright. Very useful. And not only that, I can move my nose while also putting this at the same time. Fortune, I pre prepared myself beforehand, so... You are not required, but you know what? Why the heck not? I'll show off. You know what? Forget what this is. I'm gonna show off the battles out here. Because I like playing this game, and I really do like taking on the trainers out here. And you're only level 4, 4 rank. My Emperor's been almost three times as stronger as it is. Ugh. Also, there's something that I actually found out on screen. 
Bidoof does not learn the ability pickup. That's freaking sad. I mean, okay. I was hoping to get a Pokemon that has the ability pickup. But since Bidoof doesn't have it, it makes me so sad. And the next one I'm gonna find is not gonna be until much later on. And we got a Bidoof coming up. I like on a Bidoof. Excuse me, I was taking a, a nice swig of my favorite soda ever. Cherry Coca-Cola. Good stuff. Alright. Alright, you have another Starly, Haley. Let's see on how good your Starly can do. Because I'm kind of curious. Okay, um, let's see here. Hey Mouse, what are you doing? I guess. My mouse uh, cursor is on my other screen and it was doing something from the outside. Shutting down Facebook for a little bit. Okay. So now that we're coming out here, I believe this guy is also a trainer. I'm gonna try my best to try to skip him. And unfortunately, there are no repels yet. That's gonna suck. Ooh, this thing has the ability to intimidate. Where was that when I needed a shanks from my platinum LP? Oh, fine. Excuse me. And welcome, one and all, to the Orberg Gate. Uh, Orberg Gate, while we're talking about this Pokemon, has only one new Pokemon, and that is Geodude. Geodude, it is a really good physical defending Pokemon. Unfortunately, it has a lot of weaknesses, and it just can't hold it so well ugh, against many Pokemon, especially in this game. So, I could say some really good things about him, but maybe not this time. So, sorry, bud. Can't really say anything good about you yet. Okay. But, hi, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? Hey! I'll have you know, youngster, I ain't a noob. I am kind of a veteran at this. My Pokemon are in the low tens. So, I don't need to speak to you, so goodbye! What the heck did I just do? Guys, what the heck did I do? Did I just choke on my own? Did I just gurgle I'm gonna say goodbye? Wow, I'm gonna say one weird guy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, that hiker that we talked, that kind of made us talk to him, gave us the HM move, Rock Smash. Rock Smash is a very a good move to have, and I recommend it quite a bit, especially for some of the side missions. Okay. So anyway, up here on Route 207. There is only one new Pokemon that you can find on here, and that is Machop! Machop! As a Pokemon, it is kind of a bulky physical attacker. And I kinda like this thing more than you would think. Um unfortunately, like from before, it's pretty slow, and it really can't take a lot of good special hits like a champ. And of course, to evolve into its final evolution of a champ, you have to trade it with someone, and that I really don't like. Oh well, I can always uh, get one from somewhere else. It's not like it's gonna matter that much. Okay. Now there's a few things of what we can do out here in um, Orberg City, but up here I want to get this. The Pokeball. One extra ball to carry. There's also a cool spot right there. Okay, we also got our Geodude right here, level 6. Not too bad, not too shabby. But this is good, this is good. But guess what? Not good enough! See? Double jab. I really can't say anything good about Geodude in these games. I mean, for every generation that's introduced, I always feel like the rock and the ground type classes are always getting nerfed like heck. 
or more like getting screwed. I mean, it's it's a real shame. It just I really want to see some good stuff about rock and ground types. But you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. Let's just move on. So we also had Mr. Weirdo that's blocking the entrance, Barry here. Huh? Oh, it's you, Dad. You finally got here. You're slow as always. You're just slow. The gym loot is long gone now. See, you have to go. Uh, oh yeah, to Orberg Mine. I got my badge away, so it's no big deal to me. But. But what? I'll catch up to you sooner than you can, can say oops. Um, there's a museum that's right up here, but that's something that I want to show up at a later time. So anyway, when we come down here, we're just in front of the entrance to Orberg Mine. And I believe that this person has... Or is it... I know there's gotta be an item around here somewhere. Ah! Right here! Stardust! If you can get items like these and sell them at Mart, they will give you some very high prices for them. Like, I think for this one, I think they'll give you a thousand Poké Dollars. And I like that. Right here. I'm usually in mine, so there's a whole lot of stuff that can be found out here. Uh, what do you say? No question, this is hard, hard work. But giving all that Pokemon gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these. Super Potion! Okay! I knew that there was something down there. Well, down on this side. I just didn't know about where it was. What do you say? Chop, chop, my chop, chop, chop. I'm always on rocks. Okay, that's weird. Alright, so coming down here to Orberg Cave. Orberg Cave has only one new Pokemon that we can find. But first off, we have an X event right here. I hate these battle items, they are a waste of time. So only in the basement of this place, there is one new Pokemon that we can find, and that is Onyx. Onyx is one of the best defending Pokemon ever. It used to be the tallest and biggest Pokemon of them all. Well, in terms of the size, not the heaviest. Um, well, from the first generation, but um, it is still pretty good in this game. Especially for when he gained the ability to evolve into Steel Axe later on. And I and I personally like I like this thing. Um, they're actually pretty rare to find down here, so if you're able to get yourself an Onyx, um, it's actually not a bad idea to hold on to one of these. But it's no big deal. Now I wish that I had some repels. Because I could get through this with no problem. And I'm just gonna be keep running into Pokemon like nobody's business. And I'm actually going to try to see if I can make it a goal to try to get it to the gym before I end this off. And given the way how things are, I think I might not. Because I actually do have some things going on. What is this? Potion! Good to get a gun drops! Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, stand back and watch this. Hit in the, using the hit and move rock smash, a border blocking your way. Fallen borders need to be smashed or so they're out of the way. If you can get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! Yep. Good old Rourke Rourke himself. Oh, that actually speeds things up a whole lot more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's get out of here! Spinning in circles! <laughs> okay. What is wrong with me today? I don't know. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my team really quick. I'm gonna see if I can try to get some more potions, maybe a little bit more. We'll see how it goes from there. Because I'm already about 20 minutes into this. Kind of wanting to get this thing done. Every day. Okay. Now where's the mark? Is it up here? Yes, it's right here. Now I think uh, some marks actually show, sell unique items. Like this. The Heal Ball. A ribbon of Pokemon that restores the card Pokemon HP and eliminates any status problems. Then you have the Net Ball. A somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well in Water and Bug type Pokemon. This is pretty much a Pokeball in disguise. It has a Catch One Multiplier. And as its name applies, it 
heals up the Pokemon's HP and eliminates any status problems. Problem is, what happens when you have six Pokemon in your party and you use this? The Pokemon sent directly to your PC. It heals them anyway. Worthless item. On the other hand, we have the Net Ball. It is a, I believe, a times three multiplier on Water and Bug type Pokemon, which I think is a pretty good item to have. Then again, I don't really go for many book types out there, so... What am I to complain about? Okay. So we got some potions right here. I think we're pretty good to tackle the gym. So, let's get it going. Now, for this, I'm just going to be a speed demon. I'm just going to avoid these two transits since they're going to waste my time. So, here we go. Welcome. This is the Overbark Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proud of rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Off of the battle against Rourke. Rourke is gonna come armed with three Pokemon. His first Pokemon is gonna be a Geodude, level 12. Rocking ground time. With Rock head for the ability, which prevents any recoil damage. With Rock Tone Stealth Rock, that's its only moves. Don't know why it does that. But you ever look at the water type Pokemon like I do? I think you're good to go. That is, if we survive this, of course. Oh crap! Crap! Hate stealth rock. Okay, so I used the use the potion. Use the potion. It's not too bad. We can deal with that. Here we go. Probably should have trained a little bit more for this, but I don't care at this point. Okay, we're off to a good start. All right, next up. Onyx, a level 12, rocking ground type. Rock head for the ability with rock throw, screech, and stealth rock. Screech! Be careful with this thing! Lowers defense! Holy crap! That's bad. That's very bad. Hopefully, this bubble should take it out pretty quickly. Come on, do it. Crap! Okay, he's using a, he's using a push. Why do you keep saying it? Okay. Now for his last Pokemon! I said, as for his last Pokemon... Thank you. Come on. Let me hold it in. Oh! Okay. Kratos, level 14! A uh, pure rock type, mold breaker for the ability, headbutt, leer, pursuit. Okay. This thing kinda worries me a little bit. Since my defenses have been lowered, I'm gonna take a lot more damage! Oh crap! Uh, that's bad! Um, Ghost Early! Wow! That's bad! If it weren't for that critical hit, I probably would have been able to stand in at least a chance. Fortunately, I've arrived at the Pokemon Center already as it is. Okay! Now that I've suffered my first official loss in this Let's Play, I think we're about to end things off right here. So next time, I'm going to retackle the Rourke and head back to Jubilife City. See you guys then. Oops. Oops.